Eagles on Sunday night primetime. It's a brisk night in the Midwest, but we've got football at Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati, Ohio. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Cincinnati Bengals. State games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Myself. Three touchdown passes in an NFL game deserves respect, not ho hum just because they throw it around all the time. And he got his respect. The NFC Offensive Player of the Week. That's yeah, the ultimate vote of confidence from a week ago. That forward now. First play and a first pass for Murray. And incomplete on the deep ball. Man coverage to certain. Flips his forward on a jet sweep. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Before he could get much out of it. From the gun, Murray. Over the middle, complete. That's Connor. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Cardinals hit non conversion. The Cardinals hit nine and two to start play. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. <laughs> They'll run for the first time with James Conner. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. You're not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And I think this, as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You can't be able to... A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing now is Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Connor. And he'll be tackled early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to get this one down near the 45 situation. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Up a first down, a nice consistent game. First and ten is Connor. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, throw by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Murray's going to keep it again. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five to throw it. Hurts over the middle. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they sent it off on that play, helping force that incompletion. 
Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll get about three just outside the 10. Stopped at the 11. More sub packages, don't they? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. Cameron's in sample. In there to drop him for a loss on the play. Breaks up how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting him score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal, that's absolutely huge. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last month. He I threw mean, for over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Play, because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. For the short partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On your own side of the field. side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. It's complete to Brown, right side. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they get ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35 yards of bounds. I'm wondering. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Here's Burrow. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Want the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield down. From the gun, a give to counter. And across midfield he goes and into Mangle territory. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. First down, Murray. This will be caught by Brown. And they're going to work this down to about the 32. He had to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup. He's forward on a jet sweep. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved. You give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up. They'll run here with Connor, and he'll take this one in for the interception. James Connor, his fifth rushing touchdown of the year. And his guys are going to extend that lead. And the first drive ended in three. This time they'll take it down and punch it in the end zone. So the first drive, they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. Pass the 20. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Burrow on third down. Oh, 
deep, and man, it's complete to Higgins. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. We'll have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. Calling a gain of six on the play. Touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just get down the But Not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. He goes right back to Green. He's got it complete. A gain of 10 zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and still try and cover downfield. Murray now on first down. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Time. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Ertz has it left side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. McCann's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. He's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Here's Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team you've got to be careful right here and now three yards on that last carry here's second and seven here's connor on the read option and down right around the 32 yard line four yards on the pick here because they're playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away. Hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play calling. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I think this running game, or should I say, lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. A little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily try for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take possession of defense and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, 6 0 Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bengals take the... All these guys. It's been a while since they've been out there going full speed. So they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays. Make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. You want one in this league, won't you? I mean, this phase is not just West Coast. Up. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six. This is where the coach is walking that line of being calm, and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if I we kept having a rough patch, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here.
O'Connor up the middle. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And he had looked for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. To throw on second and 10, Murray. And that's complete. It's green here. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going right now, A quick throw here out to Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They'll come up now on second and a yard. They run behind center with Connor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They go backwards in the scrimmage. Murray going to try to throw on third down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. That big time sack. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. So an interesting call there to time, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Mixon is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much. And they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Third and goal, Burrow, and it's caught. Touchdown, Devin Asiasi is giving up that last touchdown. You know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. He'll plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Now Murray's got to have this one. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is good where to be found there. A gain of 20 on fourth down. Throwing again, Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully... Under four to go now as they come up on second down. There's Murray. Buying time to his left. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a 13 yard touchdown run. And the cards have made. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. Oh That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. Dancing to his left. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Credit for that sack goes to Cameron Thomas. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Up a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
Give him 16 serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Back to throw. Murray. Man open left side is Brown. And they're going to get this down to clock. You think so? But it's hard to get a receiver to drop the football. They're trained to catch everything. Murray to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. That, that's not the way you're supposed to play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Murray. On the right side, caught by Green. And he's got another first down as it's on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now Murray. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Murray to Moore, first down, Arizona. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a going night for this. Murray and company going for it on fourth. Caught on the slant. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just shot. with a first down carry. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing that second half? And that looks like a victory. And during the trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week, 